<laughs> I guess it's uh, welcome back one more time. So, not sure what happened, but some way, somehow, some got in my gas tank, made its way through my motor, and apparently, engines don't run very good on that stuff. So, hope y'all ready, because uh, we get some more tearing down and tearing into and basically rebuild the motor again. Enjoy. All right, so I got started pulling everything out. I'm gonna stop for a second so I can explain what is going on. So Saturday night at Pike County, I won my heat race, everything was fine. Went out for the feature. First lap, something felt funny going to turn one and two and it just snapped around on me. Like I lost control for a second and then everything felt fine again. Like, well, that was weird. I don't know why I did that. So I got back in line, went to the tail end. Whatever, I can work from there. It's not a big deal. We get three or four more laps in and it did it again, but this time I almost hit the wall, came down and hit somebody. So whoever was driving that orange car, if y'all are watching, I'm sorry, that yellow car, my bad. I'm sorry I hit you. That was out of my hands. But it snapped around on me and I went down the track, smacked somebody and turned around. So when they smacked me, had a little bit of damage, but that's not what caused me a wreck. So I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna show you, and we're gonna get back to taking it out and set the motor out. All right, so I'm about to set y'all up on a time lapse. I got my harness off, fuel line off, brake booster hose off, slave cylinders off, shift cables are out the way, the battery cables are out the way. I got one, two, three motor mounts, and then I'm gonna pick it up and set it out. So I did a little bit off camera because I wasn't paying attention and my son was helping. But, I gotta set the motor out because I gotta fix the freaking smoking issue. And it'll be easier to change that rack while I got the motor out. Don't have to do it with the motor out, but I gotta pull it anyway. So, without further ado, I'll see you in a few. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there she sits again. Unfortunately, got a little bit of Earl coming out of her. Go ahead and get it turned a little bit. Get my light. So, I fixed my oil leak up, up here at the valve cover, but I still have an ungodly amount of oil coming out. So, all that was coming out of my exhaust. because it was sucking it out of the block. And the only place that's left for it to suck it out of the block is up past the rings. Ah, which really stinks. But things happen, not much I can do about it. So I'm gonna get it back apart. I'm gonna get some new ring stuffed in it. Clean up the cylinder walls and make sure they're not scarred. I may have to put oversized rings in it this time. I don't know how bad off it is. But somehow, some way, that dirt that was in my gas tank 
made its way up here and into the cylinders. I didn't think it was possible to go through the injector screens, but apparently it is. So it's out, it's in the floor, it's ready to get put back together. So I'll see y'all when that time comes. For now, it's a goodbye and see you later. And there's my son, not in bed yet. Hi. Hi. You're going to say thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Thanks for watching. See you all later. <laughs> all right. And we're at. All right. Night two of the 41 teardown. We got the motor out and in the floor. I forgot to start the video while I was tearing it down because my phone was dead. But I got my helper with me. Even though it's almost 10 o'clock and we're going to get in trouble, yeah. somebody's out here helping me tear a motor apart. Okay. He's actually helping, too, if you, you can see he's dirty. Yeah, yeah I got, got that stuff on his knees, too. Yeah. So, yeah. We got it tore down. Fixing to pull the oil pan and time and cover and get the head off. Um, my buddies over at Baker's Machine Shop are going to help me f clean up the cylinder walls. And make sure nothing else is wrong causing it to smoke. Because if you look, that sucker was eating oil. Bad. Bad, bad. Oi. So, and I know the valve stem Woo. seals. I know the valve stem seals are good. Grab the light. I know the valve stem seals are good because... There's no oil on the valve stem itself. It's just down inside. But if you look, I don't know if you can see or not. If you look down in there, see if I can zoom in. You can see the pitting in the valves. I think that's from that dirt that got in my gas tank and made its way through my injectors. I've never seen something like that happen before, but you can actually see dirt down in there. But it's all good. They're going to help me out, get everything straightened back up so I can put it back together. And hopefully, A. Flem and Skyler get the front end parts I need off so I can get it put back together at least. But we're going to finish this up and then we're going to call it a night. So catch on a little bit. Yeah. What do you say? Bye. Bye. Hmm. Like the video. We're not done yet. So just say see you later. See you later. All right. Ladies and gentlemen. I didn't want to have to do this halfway through the season, but it's either that or I don't run the rest of the season. Really stinks. Like, really bad. So, I'm not sure how the dirt got in my gas tank and made its way into the motor and all that fun stuff. I thought I was pretty thorough in making sure I covered everything or closed everything so it didn't have a chance to enter. But, with that being said, Motor's apart, totally disassembled, so I can put rings back in it again. I'm going to take it to Baker's Machine Shop over here by us in Pascagoula. He's going to make sure everything's okay. He's going to re-home the cylinders, check my pistons and ring grooves, and make sure everything's where it's supposed to be before I put it back together. I don't want to have to do this again. There's no reason I should be doing it again right now either. But it's all part of it, I guess. So, there's the block. I'm about to make a mess. I'm going to take you off of there and we'll bring you up close so I can show you exactly what happened. Hey, look. If I can get it to quit shining right there. Right there. See where that ring was dragging down that cylinder wall. 
that nice groove or line right there, that ring's most likely stuck. See how shiny it is in that one spot? That's usually indicative of the ring sticking. I honed and cleaned up these cylinders the best I could. You see that one still looks good. So there's no, there's no flat spots in it. There's no extra shiny spot. But then we got one right there. So. That one's probably leaking, sucking oil through there, right there. And then that one's good down there, and then not good there. And same thing there. All that prior to this happening looked like this did. Nice and smooth and has little cross hatches in it basically. And that's what it's supposed to look like. And now it does not. But I'm willing to bet you that right there is my culprit. Because you see how clean it is. And how dark and dirty. Dark and dirty. Dark and dirty. But where it's really clean at on these pistons is typically where the oil is coming in at. Because it's using it to wash that part out. That's where it's sucking up at. That makes sense to somebody, I'm sure. But all the pistons looked like that originally when I started. Because I cleaned everything and batted it. But they should all look similar to those all the way across. Shouldn't have one super clean and the rest dirty. So I'm going to get it to the machine shop, get it all cleaned up. Make sure it's still within specs so I don't have to throw the daggum motor away or re-sleeve it. And put it back together. So, on that note, that's going to do it for the tear down of the motor. Eliminate the smoking. And a couple videos before this, it'll all be put together. I showed what was going on with the front end. I'm still not 100% on what caused it to do it. But if you watched our last video from the race at Pike County, you saw what happened. I was turning and it just wasn't going the way I turned it. It happens. Nothing I can do about it now. All I can do is fix it and move on. So that'll be the end of this. I'll bring y'all back when I'm ready to put it back together. Catch y'all then. So if you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe whatever, all the above. I appreciate y'all for hanging out.